this is definitely a joyful time for all of us. And um, to the parents and grandparents, and to the graduates, and to family members, loved ones, uh, welcome to the annual parents grandparents reception. Uh, this has become a tradition at Beacon. And uh, with that, we're going to do something special this year. Um, as we always talk at Beacon about transforming lives, and, um, and we do believe that we do a very good job at that. And uh, students who have uh, the motivation to undertake a, a rigorous undergraduate preparation are not bound by the, the, whatever challenge they may feel they are bringing into the classroom. So if you work with our faculty and our staff, if you've seen through the thanks here, um, there is a team here that can help us all move forward. And um, the truth of the matter is, every one of you who is graduating is so deserving of our respect, our accolades for your achievements. But transformation has also taken place while you've been here to this college. And um, we respect the traditions of the liberal arts here. So you have a liberal arts degree, whether it is in the area of business or technology, whether it's in humanities, whether it's in the arts, whether it's in uh, information technology, you have a liberal arts degree. But what we are trying to do at Beacon is to make sure that our students get first, never second. And so what we have attempted to do over uh, the last uh, two or three years is to create a learning environment that is very exciting and that not only is in the classroom, but it extends beyond the classroom. And some of these uh, activities required students to take a risk and to become pioneers with Beacon for Beacon. And uh, so we have started a tradition this year, which is uh, the Presidential Graduation Cord. And it's given to those seniors who took a risk with Beacon, became our pioneers in, in new programs, in new ventures, or those who took an individual course and represented Beacon as an ambassador in very special ways. So I'm going to ask, uh, this is a kind of a pre-ceremony, but I'm going to ask Dr. Chandler, our provost, and David Brown, our register, registrar, to come up and help me with the presentation of uh, some presidential graduation cords to those who were involved in new initiatives that we had not tried before. Those include uh, our anthrozoology major, uh, Beacon in Tuscany, Beacon in Washington, our first intercollegiate athletic program in basketball, um, and, uh, and for an individual who was actively involved in every dimension of, of the citizenship of this college and helped it develop further. So I'm going to ask for uh, Dr. Chandler, there they are, Dr. Chandler and David to come up. David will be uh, calling on uh, the individual and then we will present the court. Okay, the first, oh, sorry. And a very nice uh, certificate as well. All right, the first person that President Haggerty is recognizing is a triathlete, Dean Logos. Could you come forward, please? Now the cords, of course, can be worn at the ceremony in the morning, Dean, and all the others. Please wear them at the uh, ceremony tomorrow. We have five students who were the pioneers in our Tuscany program, study abroad in Italy, and I'll call them up one by one. 
Janice Smith, is she here today? No. Jacob Arlington. Justin Walder. Thank you very much. Grady Miguel. Bryce Derby. We had two students who pioneered an internship, a summer internship in Washington, D.C., and Dr. Haggerty would like to recognize those students. First one, again, is Janice Smith. And the second one was Nevin Yadav. As Dr. Haggerty said, we, we had our first kind of intercollegiate sports team in basketball. And two of those are graduating this May. And Dr. Haggerty would like to recognize firstly, Stephen Scott Edwards. Second basketball player who probably could not play at the moment. Um, <laughs> who went over on his ankle yesterday in training, and this is Brandon Wedderburn. This May, we are recognizing our first anthrozoology graduates, Bachelor of Science, and Dr. Haggerty would like to recognize Samuel Curtis. And congratulations. Thank you. And our second anthrozoology graduate is Emily Taucher. Emily, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you want to say something about that? Did you want to talk about What's that? No, you want to talk about that? Yeah. This is nice. Dr. Haggerty would just like to say a few words about Matt. Uh, the uh, other person who I think receive, needs to receive a uh, presidential graduation cord did all sorts of things special in helping this college develop and was involved in many, many activities. Um, it's, imp it's important to recognize that these 
records uh, for individuals who took a risk in becoming the pioneers. And each year I expect that we're going to keep improving because our job is to make sure that a Beacon degree is more valuable every single year. That's our job. And so I, I saw uh, Matt Zatcher do so many different things quietly um, around this campus. And uh, I just think that uh, he has been a pioneer for us in many, many ways in our uh, Summer for Success program and the work that he's done around the campus. So Matt, why don't you come on up? Thank you, Dr. Chandler and, and Mr. Brown. Uh, finally, every single one of the graduates here has, a, again, the, you've done extraordinary things, each one of you. Uh, we hope that you're proud of this college, as I believe that you uh, deservedly should be. We're enormously proud of you. You are our most enduring legacy. And so we very much look forward to the ceremony tomorrow, which is the culmination of many years of hard work, and hard work, and the support, and sometimes prayers of uh, loved ones, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, and a very devoted faculty and staff. So please do enjoy the evening this evening, and uh, be there early tomorrow. Um, it does get a, a bit crowded, but um, we hope that you will really enjoy what we think will be a remarkable ceremony. And I have just one request to make, which is a very unusual request. Tomorrow we'll be giving an honorary degree to Sheikha uh, Jamila. Um, You'll hear her called Your Excellency. She is uh, one of the royal family in the United Arab Emirates, which we have begun to partner with. Um, she is a premier humanitarian. Under their traditions, uh, we ask that you not take a, a, a picture, any photo, any video uh, directly toward her. Um, this is uh, their tradition. We want to respect it. It's a custom that we want to respect. Um, you will find her, and I think you'll hear in her words, she's an enormously humble human being. As a matter of fact, um, when you go over there, you're just struck by a person who's a member of the royal family, the third, uh, only the third member of the royal family in the government over there. And she is uh, responsible for all humanitarian services. She's responsible in a, in a special way for uh, children, uh, young adults and adults with disabilities, and the enormous amount of programming that is done over there uh, for students. And she, has a, she ha had a special charge to, uh, by the emir over there to begin a center for students with learning differences. And she's done a remarkable job. And very honestly, she came to Beacon, learned how we were doing it, had many opportunities to go to many other institutions, uh, much larger and better known than Beacon. And she chose our model. She chose our faculty and staff to work with. And uh, I think you'll find in her message enormous humility uh, on, uh, on a global stage. So please have a wonderful evening. Uh, let's celebrate tomorrow. It is the, uh, it will be about an hour and 15 minute ceremony. You can clock it. It'll be about an hour and 15 minute ceremony and I think it will be a beautiful ceremony that you will all enjoy. It is a solemn ceremony. It's a joyous ceremony and it's also an emotional ceremony. So see you tomorrow. Thank you. just came in. Uh, Janice just came in, so I just wanted to recognize Janice.
Janice, you don't even know what you're getting here. So, no. I, you know, I'll tell you afterward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great time, all.